Hi guys, so we're gonna do story time today. We just got back from shopping and mama got some new makeup. Oh, I'm going home and I'm gonna have some fun with it. Ain't that right? You don't care. No, All right. I don't. I don't care at all. So we're gonna do story time and it's basically about one of my clinical days uh, last session. So right now we're on, I guess it's like spring break for us and we get a week off. Um, but before we went on spring break, I was waiting till the session ended to tell this story. So we were at clinical one day at the nursing home and one of the patients was not in her right mind. So the nurse came out and was saying, okay, something's not right with this patient. So me and a couple of other students who were out in the hall, um, who had just got done, we just got done giving, passing our meds. And we had went into her room and we did like a full cold, like vital signs, oxygen, perla, like the full head to toe assessment, seeing her strength. And honestly, like when you're in that situation, like if you ever get the chance to do something like that, please jump in. Because actually this lady actually was in kidney failure, chronic kidney failure. And she was actually an older lady. And so she ended up being in the ICU. I think that the next week when we came back, she was still in the ICU. So she had been in the ICU for over a week. Um, you gonna stay in your lane? Listen, tell the story. <laughs> I'm gonna need you to stay in your lane. <laughs> tell the story. I can't tell my story if we're drifting off into other people's lanes. Man. Okay, because he can't drive. So. But you make me drive everywhere. But they're definitely gonna hear the boop it boop it boop it so they know I'm not lying. <laughs> <laughs> So, you can um, drive anytime you feel like you want to well, drive. I don't want to drive. Anyway, just if you ever get into that situation, please jump in head first because it's just a, a great learning experience for when you actually graduate and become a nurse. Just to see like how things go and what you need to do in that, that type of a situation. Because you need to think quick and on your feet and you need to know your patients to know when something is wrong. And that nurse knew that patient and she knew, okay, something's not right with her. And we had, I stayed with her. Um, after we did the full assessment, gave her her oxygen, and we checked her pulse ox, seeing her oxygen went back up. But she was um, steadily, when she would be up, she was like rapidly breathing through her nose. So you could tell that she was in distress. But when she would go to sleep, she would stop breathing. So I, I stayed in the room until the paramedics got there and kept waking her up because I didn't like the fact that she wasn't breathing, um, even with the oxygen in. So I just had to do a story time because... It was bad for her, but it was awesome for me. Not that she was like going through that, just that I got a chance to be in a cold situation in nursing school. You know, a lot of times when you're in clinical, you don't get to see a lot of things. And when I get to see some stuff, I'm all in. Ain't that right, babe? All in. All right, y'all. So I'm gonna go home and play with some makeup. Maybe I'll do another video after I beat this face. is key for us because we can recall okay the teacher said this or the teacher said that and for me like to listen to my peers i'm not saying like listen to your peers bad no i'm not saying that but